Here are my concerns regarding the new squad power. Do I need to max out all Generation 7 to unlock all the powers? We have tested that, and you need Major 1 to unlock the Troll Squad power and the full nodes. Are the end results random or everyone will get the same total stat results? Everyone will get the same stats. The only difference is some might use little more or little less shards to max it. How much is the stats we are getting? There are 12 nodes. 3 defense nodes each with 18% defense. Each node attempt will cost 2 fragments per click. 3 rally capacity nodes each with 1000 capacity that unlock the silver frame and the cost is fixed at 150 fragments. Three attacking nodes each with 18% attack. Each node attempt will cost four fragments per click. Three rally capacity nodes each with 1000 capacity that unlock the video frame and the cost is fixed at 350 fragments. Keep in mind any extra stats used will return if you click too fast, so don't worry. Is it only for Generation 7? Yes, this feature is exclusive for Generation 7 only maybe we will see the same for Generation 8 and above. Will the bonus stats stay and be active for each march I send with or without the Generation 7? We have tested the rally capacity stats and know it's only for the march that has Generation 7 on it. Should I improve the troll squad first or max my generation 7? Definitely generation 7 first keep the troll squad for later if you have extra of its fragments. Don't use gold universal fragments for it. How much did it cost you to upgrade and max the troll squad? Here is the video before and after.